Uh, this is Arthur Elway, CEO of uh, ALRI. He's also the scientist behind the various products of ALRI. Uh, we're going to focus on one product now, it's called Huma Pro. Uh, it's an amino acid product. Uh, there are a lot of amino acid products. Why is it different, Huma Pro? Amino acid products, it's interesting generalization. Amino acid products have specific responses. That's the assumption. Whey protein is essentially amino acids. Unfortunately, most of it is junk amino acids. 83% of it is waste. That much. 70% is used. 17% is used to build muscle. The rest of it goes through glycogenesis, our ketonic response, and is converted into calories. Protein doesn't actually have calories. Protein is nitrogen. It's the byproducts of digestion that create the calories. Okay, so what you're saying is that the ordinary super proteins we see all over here are not like absorbed 100% only a little part? No, well, of course the 100% absorbed. Unfortunately, what they're, where they're absorbed is usually the toilet. Uh -huh. See, and think about it this way. We're not cows. Okay. It doesn't matter if you take the wheel and it's made out of stone and keep on polishing it, it's still made out of stone. Mm -hmm. You're not going to really change it that much. Okay. Now, let's get to the amino acids. The body essentially runs off of eight essential amino acids. These eight essential amino acids are the only amino acids the human body cannot produce yeah. from other amino acids. The body uses these eight amino acids as the primary substrates to make all the rest of amino acids, this is, so 22 or 20, depending on which school of thought you're from, yes. to turn this into over 50,000 amino acids in the body. Now, when your body has a need for amino acid, mm -hmm. it upregulates the enzyme for the conversion of one of the essential amino acids into that amino acid. This conversion factor happens at the rate of need. Okay. If you add the amino acids at the right ratio, in a specific time, mm -hmm. in the specific uh, sequence in the right order, in the right amounts, mm -hmm. you will get the right result. It sounds kind of uh, over condensed when you think about it. Let's, let's simplify this. It's just amino acids. But it's just amino acids. In a certain ratio. Well, no, let me make life, make life easy for you. It's just amino acids. Mm -hmm. and it, now let's go back to some other amino acids. I'm sure you've heard that there's a compound called insulin. It's extremely anabolic. I heard it. It's yeah. just amino acids. Also, yeah. My growth hormone. It's just amino acids. Testosterone. Just amino acids. Scurinase, just all amino acids. IGF-1, IGF-1A, 1B. Mm -hmm. Just amino acids. What? In a specific sequence with specific series of amino acids, in a specific size, in a specific order, delivered at a specific rate. Here, pro. Is a specific series of amino acids, yes. a specific size, to deliver a specific sequence at a specific rate. And that's so what a surprise that something that is designed to actually integrate with the human body, not a cow's body, okay. actuates more protein synthesis, anabolism, than a protein that was made for cows. So my human body recognizes it and therefore absorbs it better. Exactly. You've okay. already got the enzymes to do the conversion of all the essential amino acids to everything else and the ratios your body needs. There's no waste. Okay. So therefore you don't go through glu gluconeogenesis, you don't have a ketonic response, mm -hmm. you don't lose your nitrogen, which is the reason you take an, a, a protein to begin with. Yes. It's the increased net nitrogen utilization. Mm -hmm. You have a nitrogen catabolites, which is waste, such yes. as ammonia, nitrates, and so on. Which is toxic. Exactly, extremely toxic. Okay. It's what wipes out your kidneys, it's uh, <coughs> excuse me, is a major reason of toxication. Can't think of it this way. If I had a fish tank, and if you look at the normal fish tank in most bachelor's houses, there you got a goldfish swimming around something that's kind of a green muck. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Think of that as your bloodstream. Your fish is kind of swimming around on the side. It's real skinny and small. It's not very healthy. It doesn't want to play. It doesn't want to swim. It just wants to kind of float Great. there. Now, if you remove all those toxins, yeah. and then you add just what it needs in the tank, yes. it can make everything else. It doesn't need to live on that garbage. No, 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 no. You can suddenly get this fish that's very healthy, it's growing, it's moving, it's stronger, it's healthier, it's happier. No waste. It's going all over the place. That's what happens to your blood. When you remove the toxins you keep adding, mm -hmm. your body grows, recovers. More energy. And responds health fa faster. Your energy levels dramatically increase. Mm -hmm. Your focus increases dramatically. Your ability, your ability, there's a difference between just having the capacity and the ability. Capacity means that the body would if the right situation happened. Now that you provide the substrates, you have the ability to do so. Yeah. 
HumorPro essentially is the only self-adjusting protein there is. Self-adjusting protein? Absolutely. What so, is that? Well, it's simple. You take whey protein, it contains 20 to 22 amino acids and, well, and a whole lot of junk glutamate and so on and so forth. And, well, whatever's that's being thrown in these days. A little arsenic, a little lead, you know. Mm -hmm. Whatever is the allowable amount is this year. <coughs> and your body takes some these amino acids and it tries to use what it can. What it does is it extracts the branch chain amino acids mm -hmm. and the rest of the essentials. Don't forget, the branch chains are essentials. Yes. Okay? And then in, your body is trying to do a series of conversions and it screws up the enzyme profile and all of the excess has to go somewhere. Yes. So you go through gluconeogenesis, you go through a ketonic response, so it also makes fatty acids, ketones, it makes uh, glucose, so it's kind of like, think, think about it this way. How about there is no such thing as a keto diet as long as you're taking whey protein? You Take whey protein. Mm -hmm. Take, your, take your, uh, your blood glucose level before you take it. Yeah. Take it 30 minutes after you take it, it'll spike through the roof. Take Human Pro, it'll drop. Okay, that's also a good thing. Because your body's able to use the amino acids fully. Okay. It's the amino acids in the whey protein are being converted into sugar. Uh, Save yourself some money. Okay, okay. Buy a bottle of Human Pro and four pounds of sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so therefore it's like, it's better absorbed because we recognize it as a human. Exactly. We don't have the waste. Right. And therefore also less risk and way better worth for our money. Exactly. Now think about this as a whole. You're putting something in your body that was designed for your body. We have the specific ratios, the specific particle size, the specific delivery, and the specific absorption rate that is normal to human physiology. Yes. Unless you grow udders, leave the way alone. You're not a cow. That's a big statement. I mean, think about this as a whole. How many people do you know that drink whey protein and then switch to whey isolate because they have less bloat? when they get on the stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now look at all the guys on HumorPro. They got the tightest waist there are. There's no bloat. Because okay. your body's not trying to reject it. There's nothing in it. There's not, okay. Your body perceives a lot of different proteins as antigens. Yes. And you have an, have, have an immutable response mm -hmm. that in itself causes inflammation that gives you the bloat, gas, and everything goes with it. It's also why the old lady wants you to sleep with her at night. Uh -huh. Hey, you also drink- very important, we think. Yes, cardio is very important, yes, yes, yes. absolutely. So what we've done is we spent the last 12 years trying to complete the human protein matrix, okay. which took a great deal of testing. In order to test it, we went through a series of net nitrogen utilization tests mm -hmm. to show whether or not the, it is fully absorbed or how much is waste. Mm -hmm. In order to do this, there's several different ways to test protein, and most of them involve feeding rat rats for protein. We're also not rats. We're humans. Mm -hmm. So I what you do that. is we have a given amount of, of, of protein that's coming in, in the form of amino acids. We do a nitrate count, 0 0.16 per, uh, per gram, but most is the average. Yes. Okay. We know how much nitrogen you brought in. You take all fecal matter, urine, sweat, body mass, and there's a formula for basically calculating the amount of nitrogen you came in to the total versus what is excreted. Mm -hmm. We get a 1% excretion for what you take in. Whey protein, you get 83% excretion. Okay. On uh, most whole food proteins, you get somewhere between 58 and 68% excretion mm -hmm. and you're still not utilizing it it takes 56 grams of whey protein isolate pharmaceutical quality mm -hmm. in order to create the same nitrogen balance as 10 tablets of human pro mm -hmm. our double serving of human pro drink that's most of the time like two pretty big scoops of whey protein equals 10 pills of human pro yeah okay basically i can take 10 pills of human pro okay and i can actually fill the results other than the bloated stomach and the gas and the old lady not wanting to be with you mm -hmm. do you feel the way who has ever told you I feel better after drinking a whey protein shake? No, it's most of the time I like it. I like the flavor. Thank God for flavor, you know? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, we're going to leave it for now. You, brother, thank you very much for explaining and stuff. My and pleasure. I hope to be back with you. Oh, I'm sure we will be. It's, I'm sure we just started more questions than answers. I think so. I think. Thank you, thank thank you very much. Time. Have a good day.